10 to any MS are two physical therapy techniques that may help treat pain or stimulate muscle contractions. Both are sometimes called electrical stimulation, e -stem. In this video, we'll look at the key similarities and differences between TENS and EMS units, what they are used for, and whether they are safe to use. Watch on to find out which unit best suits your needs. What's the difference between TENS and EMS units? TENS and EMS units serve different purposes. However, they operate on the same principle. Both of them involve applying an electrical current to specific areas of your body. What is TENS? Transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. TENS is a non-invasive pain relief technique. It requires using a small handheld or tabletop device, known as a TENS unit, which is connected via thin wires to adhesive pads. The adhesive pads, known as electrodes, are placed directly against your skin. When the unit is turned on, the electrodes transmit low-voltage electrical signals to your body. The frequency and intensity of these signals can be adjusted as necessary. These signals interfere with pain regulation. What's a TENS unit used for? TENS machines may relieve pain caused by many conditions, including arthritis, fibromyalgia, headaches and migraines, labor pain, menstrual pain, nerve pain, sports injuries, surgery, wounds and incisions. People use TENS in physical therapy and pain clinics. Some hospitals also use them. Handheld devices are also available to purchase for at-home use. What is EMS? Electronic muscle stimulation. EMS is a physical therapy and fitness technique. Like TENS, it involves a machine that transmits electrical impulses through electrodes that are applied directly to your skin. Unlike TENS, though, the electrodes from an EMS machine are applied to key muscle groups. The common muscle group EMS is used on is the quadriceps after knee surgery. What's an EMS device used for? EMS devices are used to jumpstart muscle contractions otherwise known as neuromuscular re-education. They may be found in fitness centers, as well as in physical therapy and rehabilitation clinics. Many EMS devices are also designed and sold for at-home use. The electrical impulse from an EMS device is stronger than that from a TENS machine. An EMS device shouldn't be used to treat pain and may cause damage to wound sides and incisions. Are they effective? The research on electrical stimulators is mixed. While TENS machines have been in use for decades, few quality studies have proven their effectiveness. Both concluded that more research was necessary. In addition, a Cochrane review from 2019 found no evidence to either support or reject the use of TENS units among people who had chronic pain. Most supporting research, like this 2018 study, shows the effectiveness of EMS when used on people following orthopedic surgeries such as an echo repair. A 2012 study evaluated the use of EMS among elite athletes. The authors concluded that EMS devices were a promising alternative to traditional strength training. Are they both safe to use? While both machines are generally thought to be safe, they can cause side effects. For instance, people with sensitive skin may experience irritation where the electrodes attach to your skin. In addition, the current may be too strong for some people, causing shocks or burning sensations. These side effects are more likely with EMS units, since they deliver a stronger current. Are they FDA approved? The FDA regulates both TENS and EMS machines, which are considered medical devices. This means that manufacturers of these devices must meet certain standards to sell them legally. Also, Sellers cannot make false claims about the safety or effectiveness of these machines. TENS and EMS units that do not meet the FDA standards are legal. They are more likely to pose safety risks. Which option is right for you? If you want to treat pain, a TENS machine might be helpful. An EMS unit may be beneficial if you are recovering from a knee surgery under the direction of a physical therapist to improve muscle contractions while working out. Before shopping for either device, talk with your healthcare provider or physical therapist. They may be able to recommend a product or, depending on your health status, offer advice on other options. Overview, TENS and EMS units use electrical currents. TENS devices may treat pain. While EMS devices may stimulate and strengthen your muscles, it's currently unclear just how effective these devices are and more. Larger scale research is needed to confirm how well they work. They are, however, safe for most people to use. Before using a TENS or EMS machine, consult a healthcare provider to make sure these devices are well suited to you and your needs. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.